the highlight of my week today. We're focusing on the small wins. Um, my mom bought me this for my birthday and maybe like, I want to say it was last winter, perhaps. I got the Dyson Air Wrap that was like super overhyped. I actually really loved it, but I find myself using this attachment the most, there's some hair in there, that's cute. It's the smoothing brush and basically when you dry your hair, you just brush it like so and it is the super smoothing attachment which is my personal favorite. Now, a lot of people asked me if I thought this Dyson was worth it. In my opinion, after having it now for quite some time, because I only use one of the attachments, I personally don't feel like it's worth it for me. Although I will say it is a very smoothing and sleeking with very minimal frizz dryer. So if you're somebody who might want to use all the other attachments, it could be beneficial, but this is a much cheaper alternative and I have honestly seen such good reviews for this. So I figured today we would try it out, do a first impressions, kind of talk about some hair things, some extension things. I just tried some new shampoo and conditioner today. So just kind of like all the hair things, you know? So once I got my hair extensions put back in, I did get quite a few questions on like the type of hair extensions they are, the maintenance level. Oh, just by the way, before I get into that, <laughs> it smells really good. So I bought this during the Sephora sale. As I'm sure you guys saw in my Savora video, these are the Briorgio Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana Coconut Nourishing uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. It also came with a little avocado mask, which everyone said I would love, and it smells so good. Like, I can just, it smells very banana, though. So if you're not a banana fan, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend. Um, but anyways, so I got a lot of questions on the hair extensions themselves, like, maintenance, cost, type, so on and so forth. So before we actually dry my hair and do a uh, first impression slash review, I just wanted to do a quick rundown on these hair extensions, which I just had put in right after my wedding. So it's been a little bit over a month. So I have Perfectress, Perfectress brand hair extensions, and I'm gonna get up close so you guys can see how they are in my hair. So basically, they are wefts, and I have two wefts, one on top and then one underneath that, and they run from this side all the way over. So they're not individual beads, which from my understanding and what my hairdresser has told me, the individual beads put a lot more weight and damage on the root of your hair. So these are just more spread out in terms of like where it's pulling. Now, obviously, with any type of hair extensions, and obviously I'm not a hairdresser, but from what I have learned over the years, your hair needs to be healthy enough to support the weight of either the wefts, the hand-tied extensions, the beads, whatever you choose. So I did not get extensions put into my hair. Like, I had tape-ins for a hot second, which I absolutely hated. But I did not get these put into my hair until we had worked on fixing some of the damage that I had from previous bleaching, over bleaching, over processing, so on and so forth. So I would highly recommend that if you are in the process of thinking about hair extensions, to really consider working on the health of your current hair so that you can support hair extensions in the future. With the wefts, I have two double density wefts, so they are just a little bit thicker than a single density weft. I just really like the volume of hair extensions because my natural hair is really thin, so for me, I just enjoy having like really big curls and being able to have just a lot more va va voom to my hair. Now, in terms of maintenance, it is definitely a pain in the ass. Like, I'm not gonna lie. You have to go every, for me, five, six weeks is pushing it, weeks to move up the rows because as your hair starts to grow out, hopefully you'll be able to see, the wefts obviously grow out and then they're just a bit looser. They don't hurt, they are not heavy for me anyway, and they don't really cause me any type of irritation. Like my hair handles them really well. I've never had, like once we take them out and move them up, she always looks over my hair, makes sure that it's still good and healthy, and all of my natural hair holds up really well to the extension. So I've never had any issues like with my hair breaking up here 
at the connecting point of my hair to the extension. So again, just make sure that your hair is healthy before you do go down the route of extensions because if it's not done properly, it can for sure cause damage. Price point is obviously going to be different depending on where you live. Uh, for me, the total cost of the hair was $1,000 and then install I think was like 100 or 200 or something. So the entire process of ordering the initial two double density wefts, I, I wanna say it was like a promotion for like nine something and then obviously plus tax and shipping but the quality of hair is really important and obviously you want to make sure that it's ethically sourced which is something that i did not know about until getting these specific hair extensions so it's really just important to have the quality where it comes from who puts it in it's kind of just like with everything you know it depends on where you go and who does it the price of the upkeep as far as having them moved up and whatever you decide to do to your hair is obviously going to depend on your stylist where you live um, when i lived in florida it was much much more expensive than it is here and even up here it's still pricey uh, just for hair you know so this is not something that I do year round for me personally I like to have the extensions in the winter months and then in the summertime when it's too hot I take them out and my hair is just short for the summer and then we have summer manders hair so um, for today's little experiment with the Revlon dryer I'm actually gonna grab the serum. This is liquid glass from the dry bar. It's a spray serum. And I'm also going to use some heat protectant after I use this though. But this product you're supposed to only use by itself. So we're gonna just apply this generously to my hair. I did this and I love the smell of this by the way. I don't even know kind of like a little bit of a musky smell, but I straightened my hair for the first time because apparently this spray is like the best spray if you want to have like sleek straight hair <coughs> i just ate that let me tell you it was it was really nice i'm not gonna lie i was very impressed with the anti-frizz so now that i've kind of trained my hair to have a middle part i just brush through it this is a wet brush by the way i got this off of amazon you never want to use an actual like a round brush or even the regular rubber bristle brushes you don't want to use them especially on damp hair because you want to make sure you're not pulling the hair on the extensions either so now that that is generously applied and worked through the hair let's open this bad boy and see if it lives up to the hype all the beauty bloggers rave about this thing they say it is the alternative oh boy <laughs> to the dyson air wrap all right so right off the bat this is a little bit larger which in my case probably is a good thing because i can get more hair wrapped around it and this basically says that it is lightweight tuft bristles with bore technology. I don't know what that is. Unique airflow vents, cool tip, oval design, supposed to help with frizz and be less damaging on your hair. I don't know if, oh yeah, you can see kind of on the side here, these guys are the like regular uh, round brush bristles down in here. And then they also have the plastic ones. I'm just gonna take one of these clippy guys and I'm going to clip up most of the extensions. It's okay if some of them are attached into the lower part of my hair. I just try not to always like pull my hair up all the way. If I'm going to do that, I wait until they're grown out a little bit before you putting my hair on the top of my head and I use a really, really loose scrunchie. But in this case, I'm just gonna kind of lay it like that and I'm gonna take a little bit more of the spray because these are the underneath parts, so I don't know if it got on there as much. Okay, so it turns on at the bottom here, very similar to the Dyson, so. Okay. right off the bat that I noticed with this dryer in comparison to the Dyson. Number one is 
well, obviously this is comparing to the smoothing one that I typically use. I like how the air flows 360 degrees. I think it covers more hair and just the size of it in general. Even, let's see, to like, let's say the, you know, regular Dyson dryer, it's just a lot bigger. So if you're somebody who has really thick hair, really long hair extensions, it probably would be better for you to have a bigger barrel. Now, I will say because there's a 360 and I'm pulling and twisting, I have to be more gentle because I don't want to pull on the wefts of my extensions. Um, however, it definitely dried much quicker than the Dyson, I'm assuming because of the 360 airflow and it is very hot like I'm sweating and that is the one thing I would say probably right off the bat I dislike just it's such a picky and like personal preference thing but with the Dyson you really don't feel the super hot air all over you and with this like the thing is hot and I'm starting to sweat <laughs> so uh, I, I mean obviously if you have short hair and it takes you five minutes to dry your hair that's not a super big deal but it typically takes me if I want to get it 100% dry it takes me a solid 40 to 45 minutes to dry the extensions so keep that in mind like I can tell right here is not fully dry yet so I'm gonna go back and make sure it's perfectly dry just because I'm anal like that but so far I would say it's faster than the Dyson and I like how much hair that you can grab in the brush I typically try to dry one weft at a time so once I get the very under part dry then I do the bottom weft first and I will clip up the top one uh, so that I can just get one weft dried at a time and again I'm doing this very lightly like I'm not squeezing my hair up really tight it's just kind of laying gently and then I twist like so and just clip it at the top like that I feel like anything gets tangled in between I'll just gently brush through it with the wet brush and I am holding on to the root of my extensions when I'm pulling that round brush through just so I don't add any additional stress to the hair extensions themselves that is one thing I will say you do have to be very careful when you have ha hair extensions no matter the type that you have just because it's obviously pulling on your hair no matter what and you don't want to cause more damage and more breakage so if you're somebody who likes to just like throw around your hair and tie it up in a bun or you do like really really intense sports where your hair has to be like super tight probably wouldn't recommend them for you but with crossfit it's honestly not that bad i just put it in a low pony and since it's so damn cold here in the winter time it doesn't bother me the low pony bothers me in the summertime though Uh, went over it with the cooling s setting because literally I don't know if yeah you can definitely see my ear is so red because it's so hot like this dryer even though it says it's supposed to help with damage you know so that you don't fry your hair off I don't know because it feels like it's six million degrees <laughs> as far as volume though which is obviously the reason why they have this barrel so large I can definitely tell that it is like lifting the wefts kind of off of my scalp which is ideal if you are somebody with thin fine hair who wants a bit more volume I think you'll probably notice it more on the top when I do it to actually lift my root up up towards like this crown part of my hair it has been 24 minutes by the way which is significantly faster than the Dyson but <laughs> it is really hot window in here <laughs> it is 4 32 and that saves me about 10 minutes of drying time I definitely think that right here like around my roots it for sure gave a bit more volume than normal like I mean obviously with hair extensions it's kind of hard to tell because they're so heavy so I think that had it just been my natural hair it probably would have gotten a bit more volume than I did but I still really think that it dried it nicely 
I am going to just kind of brush through and make sure I don't have any super wet pieces because before you curl your hair or straighten whatever you want to do, you don't want there to be any wet pieces. Once my hair is fully dry, which is just about there, I'm gonna feed the dogs while I'm waiting for it to like completely dry. I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I normally use on my hair for pre and just like normal favorite products that I like. So a couple of other Briogeo, Briogeo, Briogeo <laughs> products are the uh, Frizz Anti-Frizz Reducing Conditioning Spray. And this is normally what I put on my hair after I get out of the shower to kind of like detangle it and everything. But when you use the liquid glass, like I said, you're not supposed to use anything else with it. So I didn't use that today. And then another product I've really been loving is this Briogeo Scalp Revival. This is for in between washes and it is a powder. It's kind of cool. You like twist it open and then you just it open and it goes on your roots. I don't pull this through my hair. If I want to have a dry shampoo for the rest of my hair, I've been using the Verb dry shampoo for light hair. I mentioned this in a Sephora video. And I just like to have one specifically for my roots and then one for the rest of my hair. So it is a lot of hair, I will say. Like it's double two double density wefts is a lot. If you've never had hair extensions before, I would highly recommend going one single and one double or just starting with one weft. Two is a lot, but I'm used to it because I've had two before. That's what I normally use on my hair. And my all time favorite curling wand is this T3. I got this at Ulta when they were having a sale. You can swap out the barrel for this guy to different, like they have a wand one, they have a angled one, a super big barrel. This is the one and one fourth, I believe. And I will show you how I curl it and style it. And then you'll get to see the whole finished product. So I'm going to plug this in, let this heat up. I'm going to go feed the dogs really quick and let any remaining pieces dry and then I will be right back. So the important thing here with extensions is to make sure that you curl your own hair in with the extension hair. So I'm kind of going to put it up similarly to how I did to dry it, except I'm going to take some of the first weft and pull it down so that I can curl the under part of my hair with that first weft. I think the biggest mistake that people make when they have extensions is curling their own hair in a separate curl in the extension and then it just doesn't really blend very well. So, and I'm gonna take the Dry Bar Hot Toddy. This is a little mini one, but I really ended up liking it, so I'm gonna buy the full size version. And I'm just gonna put this on my hair. This is a heat protectant spray. I know I really probably should have used one for the blow dryer, but it was really hot. <laughs> but like I said, that one you only were supposed to use one product for the uh, anti-frizz thing. So what I'm going to do is take a section of hair and it's important that when you curl it, you don't take sections that are horizontal. And I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. When I grab a piece of hair, I put my finger straight up and pull a section like this. I don't grab horizontally and curl a big chunk. So if I were to grab this horizontal piece right here, in order to make it vertical, I would stick my finger in between and separate that. So this would now be the piece. Hopefully that makes sense. I know when my first hair girl ever explained that to me, I was like, why vertical? I curl all of my pieces away from my face. So what I do is drag it halfway down twist up to the root just a second, pull it out and do the same thing. And then depending on how long that piece is, maybe just like a half twist more, hold it for a second and then I release while pulling the bottom of the curl. So I know it looks super ringlet-y right now, but once I brush them out after they've cooled, that is when I get that really big curled voluminous look. So same with this piece right here, I'm gonna stick my finger straight up and pull a vertical piece. Now it's okay if these top pieces get twisted in with that. I actually prefer it that way because I want the curls to be all cohesive and my hair to blend in with the extension hair. Same thing, wrapping around the barrel and then pulling all the way to the top. So like you can see that's my hair right there and that's gonna be the end of that curl but it's not the end of the entire piece if that makes sense so that's a good uh explanation but 
I don't know if you saw that when I unwrapped it, but my hair is probably only about here and the rest of the extension is obviously much longer. So it's important that you wrap that curl around the extension piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that same thing, vertical pieces with every one and some pieces are gonna be a little bit bigger than the others, that's okay. I don't really like it when it's super uniform. I would prefer some of my curls to be a bit longer, I mean a bit thicker than the others. But the direction of the curl is always gonna stay the same no matter what I am doing a away from my face curl. When I'm doing a wand, I'll alternate, but for regular curls, I like to do all the same. For these very front pieces, I actually like to do them upwards just to give myself a little bit of volume. So still away from the face, but I'm gonna actually go like this. And you should be careful with this so you don't burn your scalp like I just did. <laughs> so really quickly before I go to the top section of my hair to curl it, I'm gonna do a super duper light mist of this Davines hairspray. I literally just like, super quick, that's it. Not a lot, I'm not drowning it in hairspray, but I just want a little something so that when all this hair falls on top of it, it doesn't weigh down at the curl. I break my hair in the back and do the exact same thing. I always personally like to start from the back. I don't know why, I've just kind of always done it that way when I come to the top section of hair, but still the same concept. So I'm gonna grab the hair, twist it, and then pull it down, making sure to keep my hair, my real hair, twisted into the extension hair when I do the curl. Okay, so then once I'm done with that, I just go over and look for any little pieces that I may have missed. Usually the under pieces will just sometimes fall out so I have to recurl them anyway, but usually doing it in that method, I don't miss a ton, maybe like one or two, but I just take a little mirror. Yep, looks pretty good to me. So then this is the most important part. You give yourself one little teeny tiny spritz, and then you have to let your curls sit. Don't immediately brush them out. Wait until they are fully cooled before you take your brush and brush them and make them nice and wavy. Okay, so the final step once they are fully cooled is to take your brush. You can use a wide tooth comb. Sometimes I do either or. And I just gently take my brush and brush through the curls so that they're not so put together and they have more of a bouncy look to them. I don't rip it like this. <laughs> Just do it nice and gentle. This one piece is gonna drive me insane. Okay. Over the course of the next couple of days, obviously it will kind of wave itself out even more, but I prefer it like this, this is just my favorite way to wear my hair. Then to finish it off, I have had this serum, I think literally since like 2017, it has lasted me forever. You just need a teeny, teeny, tiny little drop. Rub it between the palms of your hands and I just kind of rake it through the ends and then whatever's left through the rest of my hair. Zhuzh it up there. And there you go. That is exactly how I wash, style, blow dry, curl. I don't know really about the blow dry though, like if I'm gonna continue using that because I kind of liked the smoothing one of the Dyson more solely because it's not so hot, I swear to God. <laughs> so we'll see, I might try it again and just use more of the cool setting instead of the hot the entire time, but this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoy. If I missed any of your hair care questions or anything like that, just drop them in the comments section. And that is all I have for you on today's beauty Manders video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss Monday or Thursday with Manders. And I'll see you more next time. <laughs>